what drew me to this project was um, first, I have, I just love sports in general. I've been really getting into Formula One these last couple of years. I stumbled across uh, Rihanna and Vincent's uh, film Beyond Driven. I think they were going towards uh, post production. And I just said, you know, do you need music for your film? You know, let's let's work something out. I have a huge passion for not just racing, but female empowerment. And that just kind of, you know, that's kind of how it began. I definitely related a lot to their story and how they're trying to prove that they're not just female drivers, but that they're excellent drivers and that they shouldn't be discounted. And I just really loved the varying stories of the different um, women and how even though they share so much in common, they have such a variety of experiences and I really just, I was so inspired by that and I just had to be a part of it. When I was, when I was writing, every time I write a piece of music, I always think about who's going to be performing it. Because, you know, I can, I can sit here as a composer and say, oh, it's my music, it's my music. But at the end of the day, someone else is playing it. I definitely was careful to choose people to collaborate with on this project who had that really strong confidence and attitude and that they would exude so much more than just the notes. I wanted people that would infuse everything in between every note and just really tell a story. All right, here it comes. This is our hero, it's her last lap, and we're kind of summing up, you know, her, her big wins. We'll start from that 2-4 bar of 47. Okay, okay. It's, it's all very subjective at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. right. So and if, if it feels good in the car, mm -hmm. that's it. That's it. Yeah. I will definitely be listening to it in the car after yeah. this. <laughs> How did that feel? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. Especially for Lela too. I bet she, I, hopefully she's here in spirit. Absolutely. You know?